Alright, so hey you guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of Today is 4th of July. If you're new here, my name is Serena, hence the intro, hence the channel name. That's so Rena, you get it corny, I know, but that's just how we are here. So, like I said, it's 4th of July, so we are competing with crickets loud crickets i don't know if you guys can hear it i don't know what the mic picks up okay but i can't not film i'm not doing anything so i need to be filming so yeah excuse the crickets if you hear them they're the loudest thing and then there's an occasional firework that was gonna go off okay it's only 9 p.m so it's only gonna get more and more as time progresses so let's just go ahead and do this okay because i know y'all love my tipsy talks i love filming them for y'all so let's go ahead and get into it I made a raspberry lemonade Casamigos margarita. I got my sugar rim. Let me know if you guys like sugar or salt on your rim. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a few sips and then we're gonna jump right into the topic. Okay, a few sips turn into a large gulp. <laughs> So today's topic, I first want to talk about something that I've seen. It was going around. I wasn't going to speak on it, but I feel like I want to speak on it now. So let's speak on it. The first thing is going to be Megan James and what she said. I'm going to go ahead and post it on the screen and we're going to discuss it. Okay. But I, I'm going to get the perfect man. But I'm just saying like he going to have some issues. Like everybody got issues. So are you accepting to him cheating? I will, to be honest. I believe in cheating respectfully. I never tell my man like, oh, you can go cheat on me. So cheating respectfully to me is cheating where I don't find out, is having control over your other women, is using condoms and not having babies. Like, cheat respectfully because believe it or not, your man is cheating. But I'm not leaving my man over a one night stand with a bitch. So. I don't want everyone to come for me, but I kind of understand what she's saying in regards to cheating respectfully. Now you have to realize everybody is not gonna have the same absolute no's and absolute cutoffs, absolute turnoffs and stuff as you are. So what you may deem as zero tolerance, someone else may deem that as normal. You know, people live in their own different realities. So I don't really think that we should all be like, oh no, honey, because because I'm gonna just be real with y'all. I've been cheated on before and I stayed or I've been cheated on before and we break up and then we get back together like so uh, <laughs> if she's saying hey I'm okay with this and he's doing it who are we to tell them what they should or should not have going on in their house or in their bedroom now sis personally I would not tell my man that only because I value myself like a lot I'm not saying that she doesn't value herself, but I just, I don't want, this is how I look at, I look at sex like soul ties, right? So you go out and you have sex with somebody. They now have experienced you and have had a part of you that your significant other has as well. Like with females, look, with females, it's a lot of emotion when it comes to sex, okay? I'm opening my body up to you. I'm letting you see me in a way that everyone doesn't get to see me, you know, and you, now you have access to me, right? And let's just obviously, if the D is good, honey, you're hypnotized. Okay, let's go ahead and get that out the way. Okay, so now you're over here. My man is over here now hypnotizing other girls. What do you think is bound to happen? You're just, it's like you're welcoming, you're welcoming that, that dark energy into your relationship, into your home, all that stuff. You know, it's just too much. It's just too much, really. It really is too much because now, this girl has experienced my man the same way I experienced him, you know, so it's not even like it's special at this point. So what am I here for as the girlfriend? But then devil's advocate over here on this shoulder is like, well, girl, you know, some couples, they have threesomes and they have open relationships with boo boo. And now if that is the case, then that is just the case. You know, who am I to tell someone that they can't have an open relationship or have threesomes? So that's all I got to say on the topic. <laughs> Let me just leave it at that. Let me know what you guys think about the topic down below. The next topic we're going to talk about is Kodak Black flushing his money down the toilet. Okay. Now, 
why he thought that was acceptable, I don't know. Because first of all, he was literally trying to force it down there. I'm sure I have it up on the screen over here on the side. I'm not sure what he was trying to, I'm not sure what he was intending to like send as a message because then later on he went and donated to his hometown. So I'm not really sure what he was trying to say, like money is, money is and everything. But if you went and donated after the fact, then why didn't you just give the original money you were flushing away to begin with? I don't know. Like, you know, people can have so much money, they don't know what to do with it. But at that point where you're flushing it down the toilet and forcing it down there because it won't flush, you just don't care about nothing. But we should all been know. We all have been know. Look, the Casamigos is talking. We all should have known by now that Kodak doesn't care about anything, okay? So, yeah, he literally doesn't care. So, the fact that everybody was getting all riled up and stuff, honey, he doesn't care. So, yeah. Um, so, that's all I have to say about that topic. I wouldn't have done it, and if that was my man that did it, I'd slap him silly because, baby, if you're going to donate, just donate. If you didn't want it, give it away. That doesn't mean throwing away. Just give it away. If you don't want the money, give away the money. Like, <laughs> put up a, y'all, this Casamigos is hitting. I literally just took a break and was like on the phone with Corey for like 10 minutes just now. But this drink is not even all the way empty. And, um, you know, we still got more to go. So I put an Instagram poll up on, Inst on Instagram, obviously. Instagram poll, obviously, on Instagram. Come on now. So I put a poll up on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, I will link it here. Boom. So make sure you follow me so you can be included in the topics what we discuss on Tipsy Talk and stuff like that. Cause girl, I'd be ready to talk. I'd be ready to talk to y'all. Y'all like family. Somebody told me to discuss Deer and Ken. Now, I don't really have much to say about other people's relationship. So I'm gonna say, I really feel like sis is living her best life she's not concerned about what anyone else thinks about her relationship or anything like that they're probably still together laying up every night but she's just not posting him she's not wearing her ring either so that's tea but um yeah my girl sis is in miami almost every other weekend doing photo shoots and stuff and killing her savage expensive shoots so look if they're together kudos to them if they're not together kudos to her you feel me but she just came out with like a drop that she's selling on her clothes at like a pop-up shop type of event so i know that's about to be thick okay thick and sis get your money at any point okay so while we're on the topic of dear and ken i feel like we can discuss like um public relationships so i want to ask you guys a question at what point do you think that it's okay to announce your relationship online like after what time span do you say hey we're in a relationship boom they're on my page now like you know ever since i've been on tiktok and i seen that thing it's like become a mood like i don't even know how to look that up like but y'all know what i'm talking about if you're on tiktok and they're like that just fits every single topic that i have and i just get confused and i'm like you know what tiktok <laughs> like okay let's reel it back let's reel it back because the costumigos is really slapping me right now but i'm trying to keep it cute calm and collected for y'all so if my eyes look low or i'm blinking a little slower in one eye than the other don't judge me okay we're all family here that's just how we are here <laughs> so yeah back to what i was saying about public relationships so you guys know i've had two public relationships as in online um as a grown-up right so as a grown-up i've had no three so yeah my ex-husband jason and gooch are my three online relationships right we all know this so um i would say at the point where he or she has your house key or he or she both live together that's when you bring it to the internet other than that Y'all don't really need to know that the other person exists, really. You just need to know if the person that you watch or engage with is single or taken. Now, 
to the point where you decide I'm gonna take pictures with this person and post it on Instagram. Now, it's up to you to uphold that image. So, Dior and Ken were the first two to ever really do it and, you know, create a brand out of it. So, yeah. All these YouTube couples and stuff, I don't really think most of them are real, but Dior and Ken, um, some people have their specu speculations of whether they're together just because they like have a contract or something. But you know me, I don't really care. Like, I really don't care if they're just together for the check. Like, they give quality content. It's very 4K, okay? They just got a house together, so I doubt that it's just for the check. But you know me, you never know what's going on behind closed doors. So, I don't know. And like I said earlier, um, you know, I don't really involve myself in people's relationships, but if you choose to come to the internet with it, then you should be okay with people like being nosy and wondering what the hell is going on, especially if your whole brand is your relationship. So with me, my brand was not my, was not my relationship, but it had its perks. So y'all would see him any of the three right so my ex-husband was never on my channel so any of the two whether it be jason or gooch y'all would see them pop in and they would be involved in stuff but it was still my content you see what i'm saying so i mean like it's kind of inevitable to where your relationship becomes part of your brand you see what i'm saying but it's not like without this person I will fail so I feel like mm -hmm. I feel like without Ken Dierra would not fail but I genuinely think she wants to be with him otherwise why would we even be why would she even be going through all this you know what I'm saying so yeah that's just something to think about I don't really know you know whatever I watch Dierra's Instagram for Dierra I don't watch Dierra's Instagram hoping that she posts Ken you see what I'm saying that's weird fan type behavior i actually like the era i like her hustle her grind and i just like how she just bodies so much confidence within herself and she doesn't let anyone you know down her like people were trying to tell her that she was pregnant and fat and all this stuff and you know what she did she went and got a personal trainer and she said you know what fuck y'all because i can get skinny at any time but when you're in a relationship you kind of gain some weight because honey that's some happy weight first of all okay and then your man is always taking you out to eat. So what do you expect? And she be making home cooked meals and all this stuff. No one wants to sit there and count calories for the rest of their life. I know I don't. That's why y'all see my little gut and stuff. Because honey, when there's pasta, I'm a splurge. Period. I don't care about what y'all like. I don't mean it like this, but I don't care what y'all think about my body, right? But I care about how I feel. So if I'm sitting there reading hate comments about my gut right for example some people would just guess oh she must be pregnant because she got a little gut okay pregnant by who <laughs> but um yeah i'm not gonna sit there at a restaurant because of a hate comment and be like oh well, i can't eat this because it has this many calories this many calories that's not happening ever ever over here okay you know why because i have a homegrown body and this is just real life over here on this channel that's why every video i say that's just how we are here because literally this is just how i am over here like i would be having the same conversation on facetime with corey right now or with jasmine right now that i'm having with y'all okay so that's why i always make sure that my channel is just transparent and it's real and it's genuine and it's just no filter because that is what I want y'all to see. I don't want y'all to see a made up life, made up numbers and made up entrepreneurship series and made up, you know, luxury hauls and stuff. I want y'all to see dupes. I want y'all to see black girl luxury. I want y'all to see how you're able to achieve this as a regular person. Cause I just see myself as a regular person. If I blow up, if I blow up today overnight, I want y'all to know I'm just a regular girl that just came literally went to high school in Conyers, georgia okay born in fort lauderdale florida okay this is not like 
this is not some LA girl life dream style over here okay I still struggle I still get it out the mud I still hustle I still have a job a regular corporate America job right and then I do this as well this is just an addition to what I'm already doing so I want you guys to like you know join in share this channel with anyone that you see fit and all of that because you know that's just how we are here <laughs> you know I want y'all to look at me and be like I can do this if she can do this I can do this or I went to high school with her she's cool as fuck I can do this if she can too you know I want y'all to be y'all authentic selves and I want y'all to love y'all for who you are and at that point I'm just gonna end the video here because your girl is this is seriously talk for a reason look at the cup the Casamigos really does what it's supposed to do. I'm going to down the rest of this. Alright y'all, the cup is empty. So, yeah. I have a vlog coming up for y'all um, on Wednesday. This is supposed to go up on Monday. So if editing Serena remembers, this will go up on Monday. And the vlog will go up on Wednesday. So, yeah. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.